Hey everyone, this is Brad Royball and this is a video for Teals. This time we're going over the unit to Pong project. So um, these videos are going to be a little bit longer than my typical video. Um, and just because I'm trying to cover sort of a, a comprehensive look at this Pong project um, and as I go through each checkpoint, sort of starting from scratch without really any work being done before this. Of course, I've looked at this project before, so um, I'm slightly familiar with it, but I just kind of wanted to give the the full look at this project without really leaving much out um, So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to actually do the setup for what I want my Pong project to look like um, Here what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a I'm going to set up my Pong paddles and whatnot. So as you can see I'm setting up my left paddle right here I think that looks fine for now. I'm going to move this over to the left um, one of the things that makes sprites really easy and that you may not know about is, is typically sometimes when I try to change my sprites, I do so by going in here and, you know, I'll create something and I'll scale it down. Um, that's not the best way to do it. The way that I've found um, that kind of creates it in the best way is to use this script right here, this set size. So if we go to scripts and I use set size, I think my Pong paddle is just a little bit big. I'm going to change it by about 80%. I'm going to scale it by about 20%, so I'm setting it to 80% of its original size. You can see I get a little bit better of a size paddle. I'm more comfortable with that, so I'm going to get rid of this now. Um, so I have my paddle, and the first thing I think I'm going to work on is getting control inside of this paddle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and set the flag that will sort of start my control once the um, game is started right here using the flag. And then I'm going to start with a forever block. Forever blocks, of course, are good because they're going to continuously run as long as the program is not stopped and it's going to look for input from the user. And I'm going to be controlling this paddle right here. So what I want to do is set the control for my paddle to go up and down. I want if statements. Again, we've seen these. If you haven't gone through a lot of my videos in Unit 2, you'll probably be not so familiar with these. But if you have, you'll see what I'm starting to do. What I want to do is check if my up and down keys are being pressed so right here i want to say hey if the up arrow is being pressed we're going to move up if the down arrow is pressed right here we're going to be moving down and then i will go to my mm, i'm going to go to my motion tab and i'm going to change my y chord i'm going to change my y um, coordinate for this so change y by and I think Y by 5 is, is kind of what I'm comfortable with. So I'm going to click negative 5 right here. And if I click this block to get it started, as you can see, I have control over my paddle moving up and down right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click stop so that I cut that down. Um, and I am going to add a little bit of the starting portion to the script as well. We want to make sure that you know, the paddle doesn't start in some random position. We kind of want to have some uniformity. So when the flag is clicked, I want to start my paddle. I'm thinking I'm comfortable at, let's say, negative 180 for the left. Let's see where that puts us. I think that puts me in a comfortable spot. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm going to do negative 200 maybe and put myself just a little bit closer to the wall there. That's good. So as you can see now, I still have my control like usual. Um, I am going to go ahead and duplicate this sprite. So what we have here is we have two different paddles for the two separate users. You can see now that I've duplicated, I have the exact same script that I started with right here on the left. So I'm going to change this instead to 200 because that's where I want my right paddle to start. Um, for now, since I'm pretty much just doing this by myself, I'm going to have both sprites be controlled using the same buttons on my keyboard but of course if you were doing this and you were having two people play um, on the same keyboard what you would want to do and I'm changing my names now so I can have a little bit more organized project is you would want to use instead of the up arrow for one of them you would want to use let's say the A or I'm sorry the W and the S key that's sort of the the general up and down for most um, games that you'll see but so as we see now, if I click the flag to start, both of my Pong paddles move there on the right. So um, the entire point of checkpoint one, two, because that's kind of where we're trying to get with this first set of videos, is that the player can control the paddles, which we see we do have control over here on the right. You can see both of my paddles are moving. 
and then the ball starts in the middle, moves in a random direction, and bounces. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new sprite. So I obviously don't want to duplicate my paddles because the pong ball is going to be completely different. And I'm going to name this one pong ball. I'm going to go to costumes, and I'm going to create just a small circle for this one. I think this is rather straightforward. Try to create something that's about as circular as possible. Place it right there in the middle. And just like the first one that we had, I'm going to change the size of this um, paddle as well. One useful thing that you may not know about too is if you're ever, you know, sort of stuck on a screen like this, you'll have to change back to scripts, otherwise it won't set. But one thing you can do instead is drag this set size by 100% over here. And you can see it'll go to the corresponding sprite that you've dragged it to. So we're gonna go ahead and change this to, let's say 80% like before. You know, I want it just slightly smaller. I'm going to say 70% instead. So I think that's a good size for the ball that I want. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this part. I'm going to do the same thing for this. So I'm going to do wind flag clicked. I want the ball to instantiate or start in a particular part of the screen. I'm going to put this one right in the center. And then I'm going to do a forever loop that moves the ball. So we have motion move 10 steps. I'm going to start that at three for now because I don't know how fast that's going to be. I'm going to go ahead and click stop. And I want to also have the ball go off in a random direction when we start. So this is actually probably a little bit more simple than you're thinking. Um, what I want to start is do a point in direction. So when we start, go to zero, zero, I want to point in a direction. However, I want it to point in a random direction, right? So we've actually used this in some of our previous videos, but we have, and I need to make sure I can find it again, a operator, I believe, that allowed me to pick a random number. So I'm going to pick a random number, go ahead and set that inside this point in random direction. And this time I want to pick a random number from one to 360, because 360 is sort of the max of a wheel of one, two, 360 degrees that I can choose. So you can see I go ahead and click the flag and every time I click start, the ball will go in a slightly random direction. So now that I have that, I want another block that we used in the do now 2.7, which if on edge bounce. This way the ball doesn't just go completely out of, out of bounds. So you can see now it's bouncing around. That way, obviously, it doesn't just go straight out. So um, this is what we want to do. The last thing that I want to add for this part of the video, because that sort of accomplishes our two checkpoints for or our two um, our our two objectives for checkpoint one, which are the player can control the paddle, which we can, and the ball starting in the middle and shooting off in a random direction and bouncing. 